we're very pleased to be joined by the aforementioned Nick Kiprios on the Jeff Blair Show. So, Nick, I, I would say you're not surprised by this, this, this fact that there was no supplemental discipline? Correct. Yeah, and uh, I think the panel last night from Ron McLean, Elliot Friedman, Kelly Rudy, the, we all basically felt uh, the same way that it's so unfortunate. We know he's the best player in the world, and we know whatever happens to him, regarding his head will be under the microscope a hundred times more than anyone else for obvious reasons. But there was a, just a domino effect of everyone going to the net um, from Ovechkin and Crosby's feet actually um, clipping. And then the high stick from Ovechkin to the, the hit on Niskanen. And so basically felt that, it was there was no intent there i can't emphasize enough guys of what a bang bang play that is and mm-hmm. there's just no time no time we can watch it from our couches while we have our third beer and our second bag of chips and think all we want but i can't emphasize enough of how quick that play is for a guy like matt niskanen, niskanen to react to it and there's just no way that he took advantage of a vulnerable Sidney Crosby in, in, under those circumstances. So it's it's a hockey play, or at least it's a play that's a kind of that's a direct outcome of of a hockey play, Nick. It's not I, it's not something you can sit back and say, "Boy, we have to prevent this." Yeah, Stephen. I mean, those guys played so hard last night, and we we want them to go hard to the net. That's the only way you're going to create goals, and Sidney does it. Uh, great and the guys battle in front of the net and that's that's where everybody wants to get to and and there's so much at stake and the pressure on the Washington Capitals and what a what a defying game for their 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 organization their history you know don't underestimate what a five-minute major did let alone Mm. wanting a suspension a five-minute major in a critical game where if 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 Pittsburgh finds a way to score two goals or three goals on a five minute major, uh, we're talking about what a defying moment is, is it, that was in franchise history. And now we're regarding the Washington Capitals maybe in a similar manner, like the Buffalo Bills in mm. the early '90s of being this great team that finds a way to you know choke when it's all said and done. So it was. It was what a game for the Washington Capitals to get themselves back in uh, this series. And hey, hey, Nick, do you expect any form of retribution from the Penguins towards the Capitals towards Matt Niskanen as a result of this? Yeah, I, I think we're we're gone beyond that. Okay, I think I think the last five or ten years we just don't see it anymore like we did fifteen or twenty years ago. It was a lot easier to get retribution back then. Not anymore, not not under the microscope, not with the 25 cameras to catch everything. I can tell you, you know, in, in my day, uh, let alone 30 or 40 years ago, the paybacks you could get and, and never get caught were significant. Not anymore, not putting your, your team at, at risk of taking another bad penalty. Somewhere down the, the road, maybe, but we don't certainly see it uh, as a as a direct reaction from game to game. Nick, you know, the we I think long after we're talking about whether there should have been supplemental discipline discipline or not, we're going to be. We, I, I look. I hope I hope we're, all of our uh, worst fears are uh, unfounded. But um, you know, we saw one of the greatest players in the history of hockey struggling to get up off the ice last night. I, what were you thinking in that moment, watching Sidney yeah. Crosby try and get up, Nick? Yeah, uh, it, like go back to the the number of times that he got hit in the head and and wondering, uh, you know, is he, is he going to take another year and a half off? That, my, uh, how long can we lose this guy? He has been unbelievable from the moment that he got drafted first overall. But I will tell you, Stephen, in the last two years, he has completely gone to another level. And it's not even so much... For me, what stands out about Sid isn't so much even on the ice, but it's the way he carries himself now 
off the ice as well. He just seemed more relaxed, more personable. I can tell you from the uh, from the information that I get out of Pittsburgh that he's never been a better captain, never taken more young kids like Connor Sheary, Kunakel, um, all these guys from Wilkes-Barre and, and showed a real vested interest in and what they're doing and how they're progressing and how many dinners can he have them over at the house. He has been unbelievable. He's set the culture in that organization the last few years like like no one has in any organization at any time. It's, it's Tom Brady-like. And, you know, you see him down and out, and you're sitting there going, that's just not a loss for Pittsburgh. That's a loss for – for the league it's a loss for television it's a loss for fans all over the world I I hope he can come back a lot quicker than we've seen in the past 